morning everybody how are you today i hope you are all fine and everything is okay there today again i am tejnath pokhrel a teacher of himalaya secondary school khatbari i would like to welcome you to khatbari municipality online education program uh actually is my today's lesson Yes. This is my ninth lesson. I hope you are all listening to me, and my presentation has been helpful to you to prepare for the coming compulsory English exam. I also hope my guidelines will be helpful for you to secure good marks in the exam. The main objectives of my facilitation of my explanation facilitation is to help you solve compulsory english questions to be asked in coming se exam and uh, obtain good marks in the last eight lessons i try to explain you about different types of reading texts and as well as writing exercise and types of grammar to be asked in the exam too today i have prepared a model questions a uh, model questions um as well as its complete answer to present you all i will show you and explain you how to write answer to these questions i hope my activity my explanation will be helpful to understand how to solve the questions and obtain good marks in the exam i am sorry to tell you that i have no enough time to explain you many grammatical rules i also cannot go deeply in any subject matter however i will try to explain you superficially how something happens okay well this is a model questions well this is a model questions based on compulsory english uh, exam uh, se exam it is reading and writing uh, yes reading uh, this is called written text yeah this is a new course compulsory english a new course reading and writing okay this is the instruction here candidates are required to give their answers according to the given text instruction that is the instruction okay this is the time here okay time 2 hours and 15 minutes total and full marks 75 full marks okay the first question let's see here um this is the first question uh, reading text uh, read the text from the read the read the part of the poem and do the task okay this is the part of the poem uh, this is part of the poem because generally this text uh, length it's not so long it not so long so be uh, it, uh, it is about around 100 words so so then this is the part of the poem generally if it is if a question is asked in the examination if the question is said from the poem then not full poem generally the part of the poem is asked there okay. yeah, and the, this is the first question this guy is very by max this is the text given this is the syntax this is the syntax first first syntax means generally the text is mentioned in your textbook okay page number Okay, you can see this text. Unit twelve, page number hundred thirty-five, hundred thirty-four, hundred thirty-four. Okay, let this is the poem. Okay, composed by William Wordsworth here. The title of the poem is "I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud." This is the title. Okay, you have to read the poem and answer the questions. Hmm? Okay, let's let me read the poem here. "I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud." This is the title. Okay, that. the same line we start from the same line here that i i wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o o o e r here is the instruction here uh, o e r means there is a comma here it means something has been missing here o e r is over here oval bells means bellies and the hills when all i at once i saw a crowd crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees 
flutering and dancing in the breeze. Okay, let's see. Okay, I, the speaker, the poem, the poet, generally the poet, or the speaker, you can say speaker. I wandered means, wandered means, what, is, what does wander? Wandered means walked around, moved around without any destination, without any aim or objectives. That is wandered. Bhautari, no? I wandered, lonely means alone here. Uh, the poet, the speaker was alone there. He was wandering, lonely, he was alone. There was nobody to talk to him. As a cloud, when see, his activities, his walking has been compared with a cloud. That float, the cloud, what is the, what is, what kind of cloud? That, the cloud that floats high over the valleys and hills, moves over the valleys and hills. When, what happened there? There was something happened here. When all at once, when all at once, I saw the poet, the speaker saw, a crowd means many, too many, like this. Crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Crowd and host is the same thing here. The crowd means too many, generally. Too many. Many. Um, too many crowd, too many golden daffodils. Daffodils are that kind of flower here. The flowers has been used as golden because the golden means then the most beautiful word. The flowers is uh, are yellow color, but the poet used to uh, address him, them golden because they are very very beautiful they are the most beautiful okay they are very very beautiful so to um, yeah, heighten the beauty heighten the beauty of the flowers the the poet has used the words golden there beside the where were the flowers flowering where that the place beside this is the place here yeah? beside the lake i mean beside the lake beneath means under beside the lake lake means generally uh, lake means we say uh, like this pond or pond or lake or like this um, uh, Rara lake that's Rara lake uh, yes beside the lake beside means side on the side of the lake or beneath the trees means under the trees okay fluttering and dancing in the breeze the what were the flowers doing they were dancing they were fluttering means flapping moving there moving, moving and moving firstly, generally um, fluttering with the butterfly flutters, yeah? the flying of butterfly is fluttering. Like this, the, to heighten the effect, the writer has used the dancing in the breeze. Generally, the poet has used, the poet, the poet, yes, the poet sees the daffodils, daffodils, the flowers, there was a breeze, there was a breeze, means light wind here, the breeze was blowing here, yes, in the wine, because of the wine, the Mm, yes, the flowers were, the flowers were, seems to be dancing. Dancing generally, this is a personification, we say personification, personification means the poets use something as human beings. Eh? The flow of the flowers were dancing like human beings. Eh? When some, pe some people nowadays, youth, generally youth, when they enjoy picnic, they go picnic. And then what is the picnic done? That they drink and they have different kinds of food and enjoy dancing here. Eh? As the dancing like this, the the poet sees that the flowers will also dancing seem to be dancing there. Okay, then what was the music there? If you if there is dancing, means there must be music. Who was playing the music? In this sense, like the wine was playing the music. Yes, and the flowers will dancing means it was beautiful. The poet describes the nature here. Yes, this is the part of nature, flowering. Daffodils, flowering, dancing, breeze. Okay, these are the nature. Okay, let's say uh, the second stanza here. Uh, why? Why won't uh, the second stanza continues as the star that sang the poet compares and the, the again the poet compares the uh, beautiful flowers with the uh, stars, the stars, the stars that shine and the twinkle in the Milky Way. Milky Way in the sky generally. The continuous that is that is the star that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. They stretched extended as someone when they go. They stood in never ending line. There is never ending line here. They stood. They were too many, and he could not. His eyes could not uh, yes, find out how many were there. That means there was a long line. There are very too many. There are big line. He could not like this uh, see the ending. Of the line, they stretched in never ending line, never ending line along the margin of the bay, means a side of the sea, side of the sea lake, okay, margin of the bay, 
In order instead of saying too many, they saw 10,000 at a glance. So, glance means such look. Yeah? 10,000, I saw at a glance, means he saw 10,000 at a glance, means too many he saw. This is just exaggeration. Yes, heighten the effect here. 10,000 at a glance, he saw here. Okay, stage extended sprightly means sprightly uh, uh, glance, touching their heads, okay, moving their heads in sprightly dance, <coughs> their dancing was. Very spread. There is part there. The dancing was a lively, active, energetic. Air. Then, if you see in a Nepali television, if you open a television there, okay, um, yeah, nowadays most of the use of this home. When you open the this home, there are, too many, there are some youths. How do they dance? Most of you have seen there. Some they are dancing. Their dance is very spreadly here. Somebody, somebody, yes, yes. You see there such kind of dancing here, sprightly dance. If in picnic there is this but all are marrying, enjoying like this. Okay, the um, yes, the, the daffodils were also dancing actively, yes, like the people enjoying picnic and dancing there. This is the second stanza. Uh, this is the third stanza. Only third stanza is here. The waves beside them, the waves, the sea waves, water waves. Eh? The waves beside them dance means there was something other thing was there was other things dancing too but the waves they the waves also dance the waves in the water were also dancing beside them dance but they compare them but they outdid they means the daffodils outdid the they own yes they dance more beautiful air comparison here the waves was also dancing their waves were also dancing but the flowers dancing, daffodil dancing was smart, was superior, was better than, was better than the waves here. Yeah? Waves in glee means happy and merry moments, enjoyment. Wave in glee, a poet could not, a poet could not be gay means happy. Could not be gay, gay glee, gay, these are the happiness word of, this meaning as happy yeah? Gay enjoyment, generally gay means happy. In such a jacun, in such a cheerful jacun means generally happy. In such a company means friend. Uh, jacun means happy friend. The poet could not but be gay means happy. In such a cheerful friend, company friend, I gazed. The poet gazed, gazed, walked, watched. The poet gazed and gazed. The poet watched and watched, but little thought. He could not only. Yes, only one busy, the poet was busy only looking, watching the flowers. Means what he could not think the meaning, the could not think the meaning, the importance, the wealth of the sin. Means the little thought, what weight the show to me had brought. Means only the poet enjoyed watching, enjoyed watching, busy watching the beauty. <laughs> of the flowers, using, watching the beauty, activities of the flower, the flowers dancing, dancing, yes, in the breeze, in the breeze means light wine, the poet, while well, this was involved, like watched for a long, watched and watched, gazed and gazed, but could not understand the, the meaning, what the wealth, wealth means that the meaning, uh, the sin, the beauty of the flowers had burned to him. Okay, this is this. This is the poem here. This poem is uh, uh, yes. there are all together four stanza in the poem. Okay, I have taken here uh, only three stanza because because the we should also consider the limit of the words there. Okay, then let's say uh, three stanza here. Okay, then now the questions are here. Okay, after reading the question, I read the, this poem. I read the poems. I read the poem. Okay, now I answer the question now. Answer the following question. There are five questions. And one question carries one mark here. Question number one A. What does the speaker compare him with? First question. What does the speaker? This is what question here. 
what is the compare what is the speaker compare him with the speaker compares him with uh, first line there is a cloud here okay let's say the speaker compares him with a cloud is this cloud is okay i will write this one this is the keyword uh, how are the dapper will describe in the poem the for how, how are the poet dapper will describe the poet describe yes how are the dapper will describe dapper is described in the poem second question how questions the uh, third question is where question where did this poet see the daffodils where they should also mention the place here what dance what dance along do this also name of other thing that what dance along with the daffodils what dance along with the daffodils other thing was also dancing what are his name here that the question here okay number one e question number one number five question here how did the speaker react to the sight of the flowers how did he react how did he these are the five questions one question carries one uh, let's see here first question i wrote this the speaker generally yes in answering the questions half of the answer is there you should write in complete sentence please be careful don't write only the keywords the you will lose marks if you write only the keywords you will lose marks so i suggest you to write the answer in complete sentence but in your try to write in your own words on words yes don't uh, only copying the whole line from the text uh, uh, you may yes may, you may lose the, if you do this one you may lose the marks here okay then the, what does the let's say what does the speaker compare him with let's say the speaker they start the speaker yeah, start from here the speaker compares yes the speaker comp uh, what does the, the speaker compares himself with a cloud what are the what are the cloud doing what is the cloud doing floating floating over the valley over the floating on high over the valleys and hill the first question first question answer question answer this one write the answer question number one a answer question number one question number one answer write clearly yes question number one a b c d e here i have written here continuously if you don't know how to write the answer to any question just leave the blank here you can leave this blank a suppose you you were able to answer the questions a right there if you don't know how to answer the question how to answer the question number b then leave their blank here. you can leave their blank because you may not know you can not you cannot you may not understand and you may not be able to answer the question b then leave this just blank there number c let number b uh, how are the daffodils describe the poem number b the in the poem the in the poem in the poem let's say end the poem the question in the poem the speaker describes daffodils that are actively fluttering and dancing in the breeze beside the lake this is the, the how are the poem described yeah, dancing describes fluters yes describe daffodils that are actively fluttering and dancing in the breeze beside the lake this is the answer question number c now where did the this is the where means generally understand the name of the places where did where means place Number C, the poet, the, the poet here, C, it's angular, this is this question here, uh, this is yes, double S question, but uh, if you in, yes, handwriting the answer, generally, yes, question marks remote there, and you should change, change the tense here, where did, did question, where did question, where did the double S question here, but uh, when you write the questions, answer, you have to change the main verb here, main verb, B1, change to B2 here. The poet saw uh, yes, the poet uh, saw daffodils beside the lake beneath the tree. Beside the lake beneath the tree is the answer here. Beside the lake, beside the, this is the answer here. This is the keyword. This is the keyword. This is beside the tree beneath the beside the lake beneath the trees. But don't uh, write only keywords. You have to write the answer in complete sentence so that you will get full marks in the examination. However, don't worry. Some sometimes you may commit some uh, yes, mistakes, uh, for example, like this uh, spelling mistakes, it's minor spelling mistakes and minor grammar, grammatical mistakes are considered, considered, so you will not lose mark, but you have to write, write in complete sentence here, if you don't write in complete sentence, you will not get full marks there, okay, number D, what dance along with the definition, what dance, what is the name of the things here, how long, what dance, what is the name of the person's name of the things you have to write here what dance 
Then trick number D does the waves dance, like the wave dance along with the different very short answer. Yeah? This is, the waves is the answer, keywords. Yeah? The waves is the keywords here. Yeah? The waves keywords, the waves dance along with the daffodils. What dance? The wave dance. Number E question. Question number five. How did the speaker react to the sight of the flower? How did the speaker react? Pratikriya Okay, the, the speaker gazed. What did the speaker do? The speaker gazed and gazed the golden flowers. Gazed means watched and watched the golden flowers. But he did not realize what the wealth the scene would bring him, but he could not understand because he was busy engaging, being in watching them, enjoying them, yes, <coughs> watching their beauty, dancing, their activities here, but he could not have time, he did not have time to understand the importance of the flowers brought to him in his life. So the speaker gazed and gazed the golden flowers, but he did not realize that generally I don't know what will the scene would bring him okay while answering the questions here you should also consider the tense here in which tense the questions if the question is simple past tense the answer should also be in simple past tense if the question is simple present tense the answer your answer should be in the simple present tense so you should consider the tense too while answering the question yes also the uh, half of the answer is there in the uh, yes in the question there and you have to write and complete sentences so that you will get good marks in the examination okay let's go forward okay, okay let's go forward another exercise here question number two this is the syntax from this is the syntax here question number two read the text and do the activity do the task or do that sometimes it is a, it is written to the task or do the activity this question carries 10 mark generally this is uh, this is the also syntax and then the text is arava about 200 words almost nearly 200 words this is the text from the this is a text from your textbook page number 84 here yeah. yeah you can refine this text there in the this is the text this is the given text here okay this question carries 10 marks here Okay, I tell you how to do this one. Okay, I also tell you how to read the passage is there and then you have to read the passage very carefully and try to understand the meaning of the passage here. Generally, you are asked to, you are advised, we, we advise you to read the passage two times so that you will be able to understand to some extent. Okay, let's say this is the, uh, there is a text in your textbook Women trafficking, eh? that is the title. That is an expository essay. Eh? Traffickers prey on the most vulnerable, unprotected members. Most vulnerable, the, I have given here red. Their red means, I have, written, I have um, shown you the meaning of this vulnerable here. Yeah? Uh, meaning of some difficult words. Vulnerable means unprotected member of the society. Yes, trafficker prey. In order to deceive, misguide, mis generally I forgot to just yes, color here. Okay, however you will understand it. In order to disguise, in order to deceive, first they take help of the local people. They take help of the local people to identify, find out such families. They may provide economic incentives, economic support, huh? incentive and financial loans to their friends, relatives, and family, spouse, husband and wife, or even parents. At times, must victims are lured, lured means tempted, low means low also, to promise better, uh, better jobs, better jobs, or well-paid jobs, better jobs, good jobs, with attractive salary, that is <coughs> better job, attractive salary. In cities, false marriages, like this paper marriage, eh? false marriage, uh, proposals, marriage and proposals, easy money here, yeah? money can be earned easily here. Yeah? dream of sophisticated, developed dream of sophisticated sapna, sophisticated developed life and other pratishtin, uh, vikasit jivan. Victims of earthquake, victims of earthquake who are vulnerable, who are target groups, victims of earthquake, sick, pidita, earthquakes, bhukampa pidita, victims of earthquake, flood, flood, wars, and epidemics, like uh, nowadays there is a problem of epidemic, it's called pandemic here. 
corona virus this is pandemic yeah yes this is this has been spreading all around the world eh? yes epidemics can easily be smuggled smuggle means to import import uh, smuggle to import example means to import or export something from i guess the last law if somebody who involves in yes if somebody who in, involves in smuggling uh, is, is importing and exporting something some goods or human beings against the raw prevalent law that is smuggled eh? must victims are involved in slavery what must victims suffer is must victims not the people who are trafficked who are sold bechincha are involved in slavery slavery means slavery like uh, slavery means a servant who is servant but this different but slavery a slave was in the there was a slave system nepal to many years ago in, in slavery system a slave is what uh, they like a good person who uh, works as a servant that is slave who is sold and brought like and cattle cow buffalo which are brought huh? which are brought like the slavery a slave is also brought and can also be brought and sold but it is illegal in nepal it has been abolished here so uh, involved in slavery like practices and kept in the prison like they're very bad environment they have to do they have to walk in very bad environment prisons like environment it is because they can be physically and sexually abused in, uh, in, uh, subject to improper treatment uh, they because they are uh, seeing social gun because they can be easily they can be physically sarenic physically and sexually abused they have to walk long hours they have to walk long hours without any rest or recreation in their condition is very bad huh? without long hours they have to walk long hours they don't have any rest and they are they don't have any they don't they have they have no chance for recreation they never get medical facility when they fall sick huh? they never get medical medical support they never get medicine yeah, so when they fall ill sick they are either paid they are either paid less or for a person they are either paid less or their earnings are withheld they are earning withheld on broken job malik le roksa withheld prolonged withheld prolonged indebtedness lamo samaj ko prolonged indebtedness rent for to traffickers our constitution has preserved preserved from samrakshan gari ko protect the right of freedom therefore we must therefore we must fight against the trafficking of person we must fight against the trafficking of person in addition to legislation this means like pratinidhi sabha when who rules who is forms uh, rules uh, uh, the nepal government the ministry of women children welfare yes yes the nepal government yes the ministry of uh, nepal government uh, yes the ministry of nepal children welfare various ingo and ngos and many other organizations in nepal are dedicated to combat combat means fight women trafficking if we suspect anyone suspect shanka garso doubt anyone involving in such illegal activities we have to report the police or any member of the concerned organization we have to report the police if you see any person involved in concerned organization we have to report them we can also use helping how can we report we can also use a helping help yeah use use we can also use a helping numbers there is a helpline numbers uh, any time to inform about victims or traffickers uh, okay. our little efforts will be grateful our little effort <coughs> will be grateful to help control violation limits law breaking of women rights this is uh, against women rights uh, selling and buying of such people here is women trafficking now uh, uh, people boys and girls selling uh, yeah, seducing them accounting and taking them to other countries and sell them in price such kind of business is very bad illegal business illegal trade if you inform the government or concern authority about it it is um, it is easily it is easily can it can easily be controlled they are punish the illegal person who are uh, doing such kind of practice are punished severely okay now this is the passage here this is the this is syntax this is the passage here the there are questions based on this passage let's see here okay now question number uh yes 
question the victims get better jobs when they are recruited okay okay this uh, right the question number two a right to for not to only to not only t for two this is to understand here right two for two and the false f a l s e false for false statement one question carries one mark okay i but i have not bought uh, what i have not copied the i have not copied this sentence statement here Generally, this is one statement carries one mark here. I think it is better to copy down and write false or true. Or, um, but I think it is better to do it because it carries one mark. Sir. This one mark. Sometimes in the let's see the past question and question series above, you have to write a long answer to secure one mark there. Okay, then this also can be done here, but. Uh, Yes, I think it is better like this. If you don't have time, you can do this one too. But I think if you, I think if you have data, you have to copy down the sentence and write true or false. I advise you to do it. But I have written one here, one the answer, question number two answer here. This is the question two answer. Question number, victims get better jobs when they are recruited. Victims get a better job. Generally, victims don't get a better job. Better job. Very bad situation they have to work on. Huh? Question number A, false. Let's see. Number A, false. Question number B, must victims are lured, means tempted to the promise of better jobs or easy money, okay. The must victims are lured, means tempted to promise of better jobs or easy money, they are, they are lured, they are tempted, okay. This is true, here. the traffic will do this one. Number C, victims of earthquakes, food, victims of earthquakes, floods, wars can easily be smuggled. Yes, yes, this is that, this, this is also true, here. Number C also true. This is two. Okay, number D, the victims have to work long hours and they are paid well, not. This, they are not well, paid well. Eh? Victims have to work long hours and they are paid, paid well. Number D, this is false. They are not, they have to work long hours, that's correct, but they are not well paid. They are ill paid. They are not well paid. They are poorly paid. They get little money here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, the number E, uh, we can inform the trafficker through helpline numbers, yes. Yes, we can inform the, yes. Yes, this, this is not correct. We can inform the traffickers, not. We can inform the, we can inform the government or concern agency or the police office or like this or any NGO or INGO or their people. Not the uh, traffickers eh? through the helpline. Now this is false. Eh? This is false. We can inform the concern agency, concern authorities, not the trafficker. This is a false. Eh? Okay. This question carries five marks. There are five questions, and you have to write two. Not uh, not not only don't write only f yeah, false, yeah, for false, t for two. Now you have to write true and false clearly, so that you will not lose marks here. Yeah? Question number B, question number B, answer the following questions after reading the passage, after understanding the passage, you have to answer the following question here. One question carries one marks here. How did, how do traffickers identify, how do traffickers, question, question is here. How do traffickers identify the target groups? How do they identify, find out? This is the question here. Question number B, Question number B here, how, why do the traffickers invest money to the target groups? Why do they invest money? The target groups, why do they? Question number C, what question is, what are the victims involved in? Okay, number D, okay, number D, which organizations in Nepal are dedicated to fight women trafficking? Which organizations in Nepal are dedicated to women, to fight women trafficking? Number D, what can we, what can we do if we suspect someone involved in human trafficking? What can we do? Let's say first question is how, why? These are all doubtless questions here. How do, the first question let's say, how do traffickers identify the target group? Let's say, okay, uh, in the, let's say in the, in the above passage, uh, sorry, yeah, in the above passage, yes, yes, in the passage here, you find the answer. Um, question number, how do the traffickers, okay. Uh, 
um, how do the traffic the traffic answer is here the how do the traffickers the it should start with how do traffickers traffickers start from here the traffickers identify the target groups uh, with the help of local people it is very easy here the answer is there the look with the with the help of local people this is the keyword here we have to write in a complete sentence here so that you will get marks uh, numbers b why do the traffickers invest money to the tag why do they invest money kin up invest lagani garchan why do they invest money to the traffickers the traffickers generally they start from here the traffickers invest money to the target groups so that they can sell the person to the their customers c u s t o m e r s customs now yes is pretty mistake here uh, to their c u s t o m e r s to their customers at a high price and all a great amount of money so they spend money here okay they get amount of for earning for earning they invest the money for for earning for earning a lot of money number c okay number c number c uh the victims are involved let's say number c question number c let's say question number c what are the victims involved in like what are the victims involved victims mean uh pidita ke ma involved huncha victim the victims are let's say uh, victims are involved in the this the, these are words from the i took it i took these words from the question here slavery like practice and bird silver like practice they are kept in prison like environment they have to work for a long hours without a rest and recreation this is very bad situation no? yes they are slavery like practices they are kept in prison like environment they have to work for a long hours without any rest a little long here but however to make it clear i wrote this one okay you can You can write, if you don't have time you can write the victims are involved in slavery like practice that's all if you don't have time if you have time you can write the incomplete sentence here yeah? number d ma question number d which organization in nepal are dedicated to fight women trafficking which organization you should write the number d which organization there are many not one organization but too many there are three four organizations here The organization, the organization that, uh, the organization that are dedicated, the IAS organization that are dedicated to fight women trafficking, in Nepal are Minister of Women and Welfare, Minister of Women Welfare, Women Children and Welfare one, various organizations, NGO, INGO, this is, you can see that, uh, organizations uh, who are working, who are working as to control. women trafficking in nepal number e question number e what can we do if we suspect someone involved in women trafficking what can we do what can we do ke garna sakchau what can we do if we suspect yes if we suspect someone answer is here if we suspect here you should write from here huh? if you suspect someone involved in women trafficking what can you do you should start your writing your answer from the question here so half of the answer is there If we suspect someone involved in human trafficking, we have to report the police or any member of the concerned organization. Organization are using the helplines, or uh, you have to helpline numbers to any inform about the case. They are a little long here, but how is this this thing necessary? Okay, we we'll finish another one question. We we'll finish uh, scene text question number scene text. Okay, uh, question number. Hmm. Yes, question number one and two. Let's see question number three. Okay, this is answer text. Question number three, answer text. Answer text. Read the text and do the task. This is question number three. This is answer text. This carries ten marks. Uh, this is uh, word limit. Work limit uh, around almost two hundred words. and then this text can be asked for this this text can be new story can be any one new story but this unseen here you have not seen it yes this unseen uh this may be notice here it may be advertisement here it may be email there it may be time table etc okay any one text yes is asked and uh, it, is, it is not it will not be too long just is about 200 words length 
and then you have to read the text and answer the question here this is question this question carries 10 marks this is question number three question number three here okay mm -hmm. um yes godavari association yes godavari annual alumni association this is the mm -hmm. godavari alumni association okay this uh, notice is here yes association notice to the to members of godavari alumni association notice is notice here by given that the annual general meetings of the members of the godavari uh, uh, yes notice is here by given that annual general meeting Basi Sharana Sabha. Annual general meetings of the members of the Godavari Almonish. Almonish means generally, uh, yes, 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 previous students of the organization. Generally, Almonish Association, Himalaya Secondary School Almonish Association means, yes, generally, uh, students who have already passed the school, uh, who have already left the school. Yes, old students. Yes. Mm, yeah, yes, and their association is also there. Yes, this is also Godavari Alumni um, Association is also here. Will be held on Saturday. This is the date. Eh? Held on Saturday. Held Saturday, December. This is the date. December 29, 2018. Yes, 16 hours. This is the um, 16 hours. 4 hours. 8 name of the places here. Yeah? Name of the places to consider the following. Why the um, and general, general assembly objectives is to consider the following here. Yeah? These are the agenda of the meeting assembly here yeah. presentation of the annual report of by the president president adaptation of the financial statement comprising of the financial statement so yes in, in balance sheet income expenditure statement and the audit report visiting for the for the fiscal fiscal year 2074 75 years okay appointment of the auditor appointment nifty appointment of the auditor uh, and the fixation of the every renumeration means payments, payment, okay. money, how much money to pay there to him. For the fiscal year, that's all. Miscellaneous and other miscellaneous means other, other different yes, objectives, our different agenda will be discussed here. Okay, by the, by the order of the ex ex executive board of general secretary, yes, he published this one, it's new here. Okay, this is a uh, this is a uh, seen text. Sorry, this is an unseen text. This unseen text means you have not seen it yet. This is new for you. So you have to read this one. You have to read this text two times, at least two to three times, and try to understand everything so that you will be answer the you will be able to answer the question. This question carries. Okay, this. Okay, this uh, test carries, this question carries 10 marks here. First one, let's say write to, write to for true and then for false statement. One question carries one marks, the five question carries five marks here. But in the, in the examination, you have to copy down the, copy down this statement and write to for two and then yeah, for false. Okay, let's say, uh, the first one, the notice intends to intends to inform intends to inform the shareholder. No, okay, I okay, I will try and tell the answer later here. The annual report will be presented by the president. The annual general meetings will pass the audit report in the fiscal year. The review uh, remuneration, remuneration you may review me uh, remunerations of the auditor will be fixed for fiscal year. 2075-76 the notice is published by the uh, order of general secretary okay then this is a very easy questions just write you have to write two for two and yeah for first but i suggest you advise you to copy down if you have time it is better to copy down the statement and write two for two and yeah for false eh? Okay, now let's say, let's say, which is true which is first, the notice, the notice intends to inform the shareholders. No, they are the Almanay Association now. They are the IAS, notice of the Godavari Almanay Association, Almanay Association, they are not the shareholders. They are Almanay, they are Almanay, they are the only students of that organization, of that institution. So, this is a false, 
नंबर ए इज फॉल्स नंबर बी एनुअल रिपोर्ट विल बी प्रेजेंटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट एनुअल रिपोर्ट एनुअल रिपोर्ट विल बी प्रेजेंटेड एनुअल रिपोर्ट विल प्रेजेंटेड द प्रेसिडेंट विल यस मीटिंग यस यस प्रेजेंटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट रिपोर्ट द यस रिपोर्ट बाय द प्रेसिडेंट आंसर इज हियर सो इट इज करेक्ट एंड आ यस टू अ नंबर सी नंबर सी द annual general meetings will pass the audit report will pass the audit report for the fiscal year 74 to 75 okay the pass uh, that is it the adoption of the financial statement comprising of the balance sheet income expenditure statement and the audit report for yes, this is the data for fiscal year 74 75 this correct yes the annual general meeting will pass the will pass the audit report yes yes this audit report for the fiscal year yes the correct here number c also true uh, number d the re uh, uh, remunerations of the auditors will be fixed for the fiscal year 70 okay 74 75 76 yes that's correct here number d this is also true number d is this also true number e uh, the notice is published by the order of the general secretary this is also true notice is published by the uh, let's say at the last the order Yeah, the board of general secretary, general secretary. Yes, that's all. Finish. One question carries one marks, and you will be if you write the answer correctly, and you will be able to get good marks. And five marks is here. Very easy to secure marks in the examination. You don't have to use any. You don't have to. You don't have to do any effort. Any. It, it is. You don't have to feel any difficulty here. Very easy here. Answer the question number B. Question the question number five. Let's answer the questions. Uh, this is five questions. The five means one question carries one mark. Okay. What is the notice about? Question number one. What is the notice about? Question number two. When will the meeting be held? When? What? Where? Let's say. Uh, where will the meeting take place? Where? What does the what does the financial statement consist of? Who has issued the notice? Very easy questions here. All questions are WS here. First one: What is the what is the notice about? Second question: Let's find what is the notice. The notice is about what? Or let's say answer will be very easy. Like the notice. What is notice? You start from here. You start from the notice about is about the notice. Let's say and the notice is about what the almoni uh, uh, annual. About the annual general meeting of the members of the Godavari Association. About the general and a general annual gen, annual general meeting, basic, sadharan sabha in Nepali is a meeting of the members of the Godavari of Godavari 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 Almunyai Association. This is the sense answer here. Number B. When will the meeting close? Let's say the meeting is the meeting is the subject here. The meeting, the meeting subject, the meeting subject. Yes, the meeting will be held. Yes. Uh, insist. Answer is start. Half of the answer is there in the question. So, the meeting will be held. The meeting will be held on Saturday. On help help coming is on Saturday. On I have read on Saturday, comma. Uh, I I you write this. The meeting will be held on Saturday, December twenty nine. Yes, eight. What is that? This is the time here. Yes, Sixteen hours means six o'clock. Sorry, six o'clock means four o'clock. Huh? Sixteen hours means four o'clock. Number C. Number C. Number C. Where will the meeting? The name of the places. Very easy questions are here. Where will the meeting take place? Then we should start from here. The meeting. Yes, the meeting will take place. The meeting will take place. The meeting will take place at name of the place is here. G A A. Yes, the meeting is answer there. Uh, there is answer here. Means G A A. Yes. Yeah. Uh, name of the place is here. Okay. Name of the place is here. You can find the answer here. Yeah. There G A A. The answer is here. Yes. Tamil Kathmandu. Uh, red means the answer is here in red. Generally, when you read, also read them. You should also like this. You should also mark the answer there so that you will be you will not lose it. Yes, the meeting will be held on Saturday, December. Okay, the meeting will take place. Yeah, this is the name of the places here. 
नंबर डी व्हाट डज द फाइनेंशियल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट व्हाट डज द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ देन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कंसिस्ट 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 ऑफ सीओ दी एसआईएस इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ बैलेंस शीट इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर स्टेटमेंट एंड ऑडिट रिपोर्ट फॉर द फिजिकल ईयर फॉर द स्कोर फॉर द फिजिकल ईयर 2074 यस दिस इज द आंसर इज हियर और द बैलेंस लेट्स से जी आई कैन फाइंड इजीली हियर इन द पैसेज हियर इन द पैसेज द आंसर इज हियर इन द पैसेज द आंसर इज हियर इन द पैसेज यस बैलेंस शीट लेकिन दिस इज बैलेंस शीट हियर दिस कीवर्ड हियर बैलेंस शीट इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर स्टेटमेंट एंड ऑडिट रिपोर्ट दीज आर द कीवर्ड्स You should mention the keywords, but yes, write in complete sentence. I am telling you, I am in, I am emphasizing you, I am suggesting you to write the answer in complete sentence so that you will not lose marks in the exam. Okay. Hmm. Number E number who has issued the notice? Who has published issued the notice? Call the notice prakash ke karega issued published hai. Uh, the executive board. Executive Board General Secretary is the, not at the last year. Answer is the last year. Yes, yes. Answer last. Yes, the yes the yes. Executive Board General Secretary. Answer is the yes. Board generally. Executive Board General Secretary has issued the notice. Finish this one. Yes, actually yes. Ex Executive Board General Secretary has finished the notice. Okay, this okay. I finished. Okay, this one. Another exercise too. This is um yes, right reading text. This is a uh, unseen text. First, which carries ten marks. Okay, which carries ten marks. Okay, then let's see another one. Another exercise. Another exercise. Let's move on. There is a. Um, this is also another um, paragraph. Another passage. Uh, it the passage is a little long, uh, which carries ten fifteen marks. Okay, then the the words limit uh, about three hundred words. Generally, yes, read the text and do the activity, do the task. Okay, the, okay, story. This question, this passage can be taken from can be stories. The story can be a story. The passage can be a stories, essays. If any of the essays here, letters, it can be letters from letters, newspaper articles, or books, or film reviews, it is here. Yes, only one text, any one text from this different area uh, is asked in the examination. And this question carries 15 marks. And then this is a little difficult and a little longer too, because it's also, you should also consider it also carries 15 marks. Then you have to read the text very carefully. You have to read the text very carefully, slowly, and very carefully, so that you will be able to answer the questions in the examination. Okay, here, let's see. Huh? Okay, now air quality in New Delhi. Eh, I read the pass. I read the text. Uh, this is the keyword. Generally, read means these are the keywords. There are questions. And then to the answer is in the keyword here. So um, to find the answer correctly in the passage, I have uh, yes, I have uh, read. I have changed the color of some yes keywords, the important words in the passage here. Air quality, New Delhi, palm plummeted. Plummeted means generally here. Plummeted. I have written here meaning is here. Plummeted. Plummeted means fell suddenly. Bad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Plummeted to a dangerous levels on Wednesday, putting residents at risk. Residents means who poor people who are living there, mainly due to the dust storm from Western India. A senior official. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is what? What? This is a newspaper article here. This is a newspaper article. So, uh, a senior official at the pollution control. Board said the air quality index which measures the concentration, the air quality index, the air quality index which measures the concentration of the poisonous particular matter, particulate matters in the air, 
heat the severe level of 445 on a scale where the maximum reading is 500 and where anything above 100 is considered un considered unhealthy by the Central Pollution Control Board. Its website shows um, websites the council, website shows due to the due to the high speed high speed wind and particles are being transported from Rajasthan, that's the name of the place here, from Rajasthan and said BK Sukla, the scientist in charge of the air lab at the Central Pollution Control Board, said this in one of at the severe level, even healthy people will be affected, will be affected, being badly affected, while those who have existing disease will assume existing some disease like this, some other disease like this, bronchial asthma or like this, uh, lungs disease or any other kind of disease like this, diabetes, diabetes or blood pressure, these are different, many other chronic diseases, okay, a person who are suffering from such kind of disease are all will be badly affected. Impact. The board's website showed the situation is actually to main situation. The situation, the situation is likely, the situation is likely to remain the same for the next two weeks. So class it citing weather uh, weather offices forecast. Air quality has worsened, not very bad, worsened bad in New Delhi in recent years. Yes, promoting prime promoting prompting Prime Minister Narendra Modi's office to directly monitor monitor meters to clean up the capitals here. Vehicles exhaust next vehicles exhaust means check out Nikal exhaust emissions, vehicle exhaust emissions, gas exhaust emissions in a city with the unlimited public transport, emission from the thermal uh, situations and the swirling construction dust are the swirling construction dust. Dusts are the main pollution pollutants of the air near New Delhi. New Delhi, which worsens in the winter months, which New Delhi, which worsens in the win winter, uh, sorry, winter months due to the illegal crop burning in the farm estates surrounding the uh, landlocked capital city. A damning report by the World Health Organization last month said India was uh, was a home to wars 14 polluted cities, 14 polluted cities with the New Delhi ranked 6th polluted. According to the US Embassy, the real-time air quality index, the air quality was so poor in some parts of the New Delhi and we say that it was beyond the maximum level, beyond the It stood 999 beyond which no readings are available on the market side. Uh, and for for um, RK for RK Puran um, Wajir Wajirpur and Okhala Okhala area among the others. This is the passage here. This passage is a little long. Okay, this passage is a little long here. Uh, uh, you can read this passage two times or three times. I have to read this very carefully and so that you will be able to find out this question here. Yeah. Air quality in New Delhi pumped to a dangerous level, all suddenly in dangerous level on Wednesday, Wednesday by putting the residents at the at risk mainly due to the dust system, one <coughs> dust system right? from Western India, a senior official at the pollution control board, pollution production control board, board said. The air, the air quality, the air quality index which measures the concentration, concentration of poisonous particle particle, air quality index which measures the concentration of poisonous particulate, particulate matter in the air, the heat the severe level of 445 on a scale where the maximum reading is 445 by sir, maximum reading is 5500 and where nothing above 100 is considered unhealthy. Nothing. Uh, where, uh, anything above 100 manna mati unhealthy man in chari. But here is what? 445. Very dangerous. Huh? Very unhealthy. Very bad. Due to the high wine, due to the what is the reasons? Due to the high wine, wine speeds, the dust particles, dust particles, are being transported from 
from where? From Rajasthan Rada Island, the Dulai Rasa. Said B.K. Sukla, the scientist by the name, in charge of the air lab at the Center Pollution Control Board, he said this one. How did this happen here? Because of the dust particles, sir. Because of the wine from Rajasthan, it is in. At the, the point, then the passage is about, this is the um, news report, is about um, pollution in New Delhi. Yes. Pollution, the condition is very severe, and uh, because of the dust particles there, and because of the wine, the wine from Rajasthan, and it's carrying lots and lots of dust particles, and it's very unhealthy, it is very bad situation there. At the levels, even healthy people will be at the at severe level, even healthy, not one unhealthy or healthy people will be affected. Why those who have existing disease will be severely affected, impacted. While people who are suffering from different kinds of disease are severely impacted, not only unhealthy, healthy people are also affected. There, the board's uh, website showed. Uh, the board's the the board website. The situation is likely to remain the same for the next two days. Next two days, there will be some other unexpected. So class it, citing the weather of office forecast. Air quality has worsened. Air quality has worsened very bad in New Delhi in recent years. Halika Bhaskaran, yes, promoting prompting Prime Minister Mahendra Modi's office to directly monitor monitor Mahendra Modi's office. Let me ask you a question. Well, the monitor measures to, to clean the capital share, uh, monitors measure to clean the capital share, yes. Vehicles exhaust emissions, vehicles exhaust emissions, exhaust emissions, vehicles are subway suddenly gas nikas in a city. The, with the limit public transport, the limit of emissions from the thermal mm. power uh, stations and the swirling construction dust, swirling construction dust, the amount of summer here, are the main pollutants of the air in New Delhi? What are the main pollutants here? New Delhi, which worsens in winter? New, new, new Delhi, which worsens in winter? Months, Jadavishan, due to the illegal crop burning, illegal crop burning in the farm states, uh, illegal crop burning, illegal crop, uh, crops burning, yes, crop burning in the farm states, Khed, Khed Illegal crops, uh, something has burning and because of the um, smoke there, it will also very harmful, it is also bad. Farm estates surrounding the landlocked capital city, landlocked, cap landlocked means covered with land, capital city, that's all. A damning report, very bad report of the, of the report by the World Health Organization last month said India was home to worlds, India was home, India was so dawada, yes. Home to world, 14 most polluted cities there in India, and with Delhi ranked sixth. There are many polluted cities in India. Among them, Delhi is the rank six polluted. According to the U.S. Embassy's real time air quality index, U.S. Embassy, yes, yeah, so the air the air quality was so poor, air quality poor, crap. In some parts of New Delhi, I'm going to say that it was beyond the maximum level, beyond Mantara. It is stood 99, it stood at 999, band which no readings are available. And the severe level, even the math is higher, band, band, for, 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 um, uh, RK, Puran, Puram, Wajirpur, and Okra area, and others. That's it. Now, let's talk something here. Now, now, let's start go forward. The questions here, question number A. Uh, matching here, question one matching here. Match the words in column B with their meanings in column B. Match the words in column A. Yes, match the words in column A with their meanings in column B. Mm, one question carries one mark here. Okay, this is column A and this is column B. Generally, in column A, there are five questions, there are five alternatives. There column B there are six of them to make it confuse you. There one can be added here. Uh, one can be added to make you confuse here. So then, okay, uh, how to answer this question here? Let's say here question number four. Question number four A answer. Let's say here. question number four A answer here. 
okay a first one plummeted is equal to yeah, the answer here yeah? yes and some students like this uh, copy all this one and uh, draw line generally it is not good idea it's a good way to do this generally just write the answer first for them write the question here yeah? and uh, choose the correct answer correct alternative and write here and also the number two for example plummeted a number a plummeted here okay which one is yes fell suddenly that's one fell suddenly here yeah? fell suddenly question one finished. number b severe severe number b severe this is severe uh, severe is extremely critical severe is extremely critical here exhaust exhaust means gas 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 exhaust means exhaust means uh, waste gases that's the waste gases here yeah? b Ah, uh, number D swirling, swirling. Yes, number D swirling. Hey, moving around in circle. That swirling, moving around in circle. Bhumari parn. Swirling. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, that is five number. Number E damning. Ah, uh, damning is bad. Mm, damning means extremely bad. That's it. Ah, oh, finish this one. Mm. Mm. Okay, then one query, one question carries one marks and five questions. Sir. Five word that is five marks here. Question number second one, question number B. Uh, write two for two statement and a false for false statement. That's all. Copy down the um, statements and write two for two and yeah for false. Okay, the above the index of 100 air pollution level is considered unhealthy. Number one. Okay, number B, question number B. At the severe level, the healthy people are also affected. Very easy here to find out that. According to the official official forecast, uh, the worst situation, the worst situations remains for a week. It's question number second. Number D, the Minister of the Environment is applying direct monitoring measures to improve the pollution here. Uh, Minister of Environment is applying direct monitoring measures to apply. Uh, monitor uh, yes monitoring yes monitoring measures to improve the yes minister of environment yeah okay and number d on wednesday air pollution level reached beyond the maximum level in some parts of delhi on wednesday air pollution level reached beyond the maximum level in okay that's all now let's see question number one answer here Question number A, what is the question number A question? Above the index, above the index of 100, air pollution level is considered unhealthy. Because this is true. Yeah? Yes, this is true. At the severe level, healthy people are also affected. Severe level, healthy people are also number two. According to the official forecast, the worst situation remains for a week. No, for two days, something like this. There is two days. Yeah? This is false. Number D, the Ministry of Environment is applying direct monitoring measures to improve the pollution. Not monitoring, this is not Minister of Environment, not this, this there is a much Modi, Nandra Modi office here, that is a uh, Prime Minister office there. So, yes, yes, number D, the Ministry of Environment, not D, D is false here. Yeah? It's not Ministry of Environment, is Number E, on Wednesday air pollution level reached the band, the maximum level in some parts of Delhi, that's all. Two. And Wednesday on air pollution level reached band, band means control, band power, the maximum level in some parts. This is two. This is two. That's all. Question number uh, C number. Answer the following questions. <coughs> <There's>, <coughs> answer the following questions here. One question carries one mark here. One question carries one mark. What is the main cause of falling air quality to a, a dangerous level? What is the what is the main cause? Mukhya karan ke ho. What is the main cause? Question number B number. What does the quality? What does the air quality index measure? What does it measure? K answer. Okay. Number C. What causes dust particles being transported from Rajasthan? What causes dust particles being transported from Rajasthan? Question number C. Question number D. What are the main air pollutants in New Delhi? What are the main air pollutants in New Delhi? Question number D. 
Question number E, according to the World Health Organization, what is the rank of uh, New Delhi among the most polluted city? There are five questions here. The five question here, question number A, okay, question number A, let's say what is the main cause here? Eh? Generally, I am suggesting you to start the answer from the question here. The main causes of the let's start from you. The main causes of air quality to a dangerous level. Uh, the, main, the main causes of a falling air quality to a dangerous level in New Delhi is here. Is here. Yeah, last box comes in. Subject first after their box. Eh? The main causes of the falling air quality to a dangerous level in New Delhi is what is the main cause? What is the main cause is here? Okay, okay, you have to go there. Off. Oh, yeah. Go off. <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. This line is here. I have written here in the. Yes. Dust due to dust storms from Western India. You see, there is a, the keywords. Yes, it is. The main causes of yes. The main causes of falling air quality to a general level in New Delhi is is because of or due to or because of this thing. Due to you can use due to dust particles which are being transported from Rajasthan. Oh, yes. The main quality air the main causes of falling quality. Air quality to dangerous level in New Delhi is because of dust particles which are being transported from Rajasthan due to the high speed, due to the high, due to the high wind speed. This is the answer. Answer seems to be already long, but however, we have to write this one uh, this much. <coughs> yes. uh, number B, question number B is here. Question number B is what does the air quality index measure? What does the air quality index measure? I should start from here. The air quality index measures. Yeah, measure is changing the measure. The air quality index measures the concentration of poisonous particle particulate matter in the air. Measures the concentration of uh, matra quantity. Concentration of poisonous poisonous particulate matter in the air. It measures it. Number B. Number C. Okay, number C. Question number C. What? What causes dust particles being transported? What causes what causes killing us? What causes dust particles being transported from Rajasthan? Killing causes. Karno. Number C. The high wind speed. The white one. Answer. This is the keyword. The answer. The keyword. The main answer here. The main. The keyword of this answer. But you don't have to write. But we have to write in complete sentences so that the wind speed causes the dust particles being transported from Rajasthan. What causes me the wind speed? The high wind speed causes this denser is there. High wind speed causes here. Number D. What are the main air pollutants in New Delhi? <coughs> what are the main air? What are the main air pollutants in New Delhi? What are the main air pollutants? Karam ke ke New Delhi. The uh, the main air pollutants in New Delhi. Answer uh, these words are in the question here. The main air pollutants in New Delhi are vehicle exhaust emissions, emission from the thermal power station and soiling construction dust. Soiling construction dust. Is the answer here? Yes. Question number E. According to the World Health Organization, the rank of New Delhi is sixth among the. Let the answer the question. According to the World Health, what is the rank of New Delhi among the? What is the? Uh, let's say what is the rank of New Delhi among the most polluted city? Polluted city. Yeah? According answer right side. According to the World Health Organization, organization the uh, rank of New Delhi is 
sixth among the most polluted city. This is the uh, yes, last question of reading seen unseen text. I finished reading here. Okay, I finished reading. Okay, I finished let's say first question. Um, I finished two passages from unseen text and as well as two passages from two I passes, finished two passages from seen text and two passages from unseen text here. And the uh, the passage from syntax to us uh, from the poem, but uh, generally, yeah, generally this question, uh, but but sometimes not. It is not always true that um, any questions can be asked, but generally um, poem is the uh, question. Generally, the poem, uh, generally it has poems, and you have to much of the time. Generally, the poem. There are five poems here in your textbooks, <coughs> so most of the times uh, the poems is there. And then you have to, um, also if you read the poems, there are five four poems in the textbook. Then generally you will find the answer to the question. But the poem needs practice. If you don't read a poem, then it is difficult to understand. Sometimes some words are difficult to understand. And their meaning is different like this, difficult to um, capture. Huh? So another thing is another passage is generally on syntax. Syntax is any text from the textbook is. Generally, you are you are also uh, I also advise you to read text. Yes, in the textbook, some of uh, the passage, some of the materials in the textbooks are very interesting. Yes, if you read this one, if you enjoy, if you enjoy reading, then it will be very helpful for you to solve such kind of questions in the examination. Okay, then another then the yes another unseen text also are there. Generally, if you imp if you improve. If you involve in reading, if you enjoy reading and read different kinds of text, for example, a story, if you read is light, if you read a story, or if you read any essay, or if you read any poems, or if you read a drama, there generally I hope your reading skills will improve. Not only the reading skills, but your vocabulary. But your voc you should also you need vocabulary to answer the questions in the examination. Uh, generally vocabulary is also increased so reading is the one of the best skill most important skills in your life if you don't read then you cannot improve your reading skills and you cannot improve your you cannot yes, say you cannot increase your vocabulary then if you cannot have increase the vocabulary then you cannot improve your English then English is most important thing is then you have to practice this one this is a foreign language in not only for this international language then. And then if you don't practice, if you don't practice very well, then you cannot uh, study, you cannot learn English very well. You cannot solve this question very well. Yeah? So these are the, so these are the questions there. These are the questions here. Um, yes, yes, in my next lesson, in my next lessons, I have planning. Um, I, today I don't have enough time to, to um, yes, to finish that writing part i finished however i finished reading part of model questions and then on my next lesson yes i the next lesson i will tell you i will explain to you and i will also show you how to answer the questions uh, and writing part here generally in the examination i always forgot to tell you there in the examination generally uh, reading is uh, 40 marks uh, writing is 35 marks but the, uh, there are, you have two, hundred, two hours and 15 minutes. So I suggest you to, yes, to allocate. Yes, to allocate, okay, to, yes. You have to finish the reading in one hours and 15 minutes. Try to finish the one hours, roughly, approximately one hours and 15 minutes for reading and one hour for writing. So you don't have enough time. You have to do, uh, you have to do everything fastly here. Yeah? Uh, but uh, generally, in reading generally, if you read fastly, then it's difficult to understand. You have to read slowly and uh, two times so that you will be able to answer. The, but generally, in the examination, then almost you copy all sentences from the textbook. Don't do this one. If you don't copy all the whole sentences there, you will may may lose marks. Then you have to write in complete sentences. Yes, and in your own sentences. Yes, complete sentence. Uh, so that you will get good marks in the examination. So, in my next lesson, I tell you again, in my next lessons, I will tell you 
I will finish reading writing parts. Like for example, let's say question number five, formal message of condolence here. I will tell you in my next lesson how to write a message of condolence. In the past lesson, in the last lesson, I also told you, I also showed you. So more I am going to show you some more, uh, yes, how to do the exercise, develop a story, how to develop the story here. I will develop a story here. This is the question. Complete questions are a complete answer here. Okay, this is the story there. I am tell you how to complete this story here, how to write the story there. And, and there is also another one like this. I will also show you. I will also show you a dialogue there. I have written a dialogue, compose the dialogue here. How to dialogue, write a dialogue. I will explain you there. Yes, beside this, another one, unemployment. There is a, I have written an essay, unemployment problem in Nepal. Generally, I have written and composed an essay here. I will also show you this essay. I will also explain how did I complete this essay and I will also explain to you the idea of writing an essay. Okay, then in my next lesson and I will also, yes, I will also explain more grammar that there is also grammar exercise here. So this is complete questions, 75 full marks here. So I will, today I finished uh, reading, yes, I finished reading two seen text and two unseen text and, and I also showed you how to read and how to write the questions, mm. how to write the answer to those questions. I hope my suggestions, my facilitations will be helpful to some extent to solve these questions in the examination. In the, in the, in the examination, uh, if you have any, I am reading now, uh, Krishna Kumar. Yes, okay, not any comment here. Um, Krishna Kumar, I am reading now, that's all. Okay, not any comment here. Okay, then this is the um, in my to the end of my today's lesson. Okay, then I hope my presentations uh, will be my presentation, my explanation, my suggestions, or my presentation will be helpful to solve uh, questions to answer the right the answer to the questions in the coming your SCC examination. Um, Okay, thank you very much for listening to me and in my next lessons I will come you, to you with the writing parts and writing exercise. Okay, um, yes, thank you very much again and uh, thank you, I wish you to have a good day. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, see you tomorrow, uh, see you tomorrow, tomorrow I am not coming here, tomorrow sorry, then I will have to go out. For some of my personal works, then I will tell my English math, uh, yes, mathematics teacher Mithas to present his presentations here. He may sir will come to you, come to you, and I will come to you maybe next uh, Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday, I will come to you uh, coming next Wednesday. Uh, generally, I will, I hope to um, present more next Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, that's all. Uh, you uh, have a nice day today. Yeah, see you later. Bye for now.